Okay, we're, we are recording again. Welcome to the webinar. My name is Eric Johnson, creator of Teamsy. I am coming to you guys live from my world shed quarters. This is also known as my Shafas, um, right here in my own backyard in San Diego. I'm very excited to talk to you guys tonight. Here's what I'm gonna do, because this is the first time I've ever had the opportunity to talk to a group of Rodan and Fields consultants, and I'm so excited. So excited to be here with you guys. Some of you guys know that we um, originally launched Teamsy for Beachbody coaches and um, just had so many Rodan and Fields consultants asking us, could we do something for them? And that's why we're here. So I'm really excited to, to work with you guys. And I also want to give a shout out to my friend, Catherine Ann Francois, who is my inside, my good friend, who's a Rodan and Fields consultant, just killing it in this business. So here's what we're going to do tonight. I am going to take you guys through Teamsy. I'll show you how to set it up, okay? It's super easy, but I'll just show you how to do it so you know why everything works the way it does. I'm gonna show you then, once we set it up, I'll show you how to do a power hour and just absolutely kill your power hour, guys. With Teamsy, you're gonna be able to connect with 10 or 15 or 20 people a day all the time consistently, no problem. It's gonna be so easy and it's gonna take you less than 30 minutes a day. Okay, so if anyone's excited about that, stay tuned, I'll show you how to do that. I'm also gonna teach you how and show you how in Teamsy to follow up like a pro. Because one of the things that people struggle with the most is with following up. Either they're doing it the wrong way or they're not doing it at all. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And we're gonna go through all of that teaching and I'm gonna move as quickly as I can. There's so much I wanna tell you guys tonight, but it's like our first date, right? So I'm just gonna show you how to set up Teams and give you the basics. It's gonna take me probably about 30, 35 minutes to do all of that. Then we're gonna do a Q&A, okay? So depending on your browser, the q and is either right there or right there. See that button? So when you come up with questions, just type them in the Q&A. When I'm done doing the presentation, I will go through every single question and answer it, okay? One time I actually had 218 questions or something to answer. Um, so at, I'm game for it. If you guys have questions, go ahead and ask them. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna jump right into Teamsy. Okay, so first of all, hopefully you guys are already in the beta test. If you're not already in the beta test, you need to go to teamsy.com and start a free trial. Make sure you select the Rodan and Fields version, okay, and get in the beta group. Guys, this is so cool. Not only do you get to use Teamsy for free during the beta test, so you get to just try it out. You're gonna to want to after this presentation, I guarantee it. But we always do this. When we launch to a new network, everybody that helps us in the very beginning, because you guys are going to be really involved with helping us refine this to custom tailor it for Rodan and Fields. Everyone that helps us, we, we call them founders. Okay, so founders get basically, um, they, they get a discount for their entire life. They get to have, they get to have Teamsy as a founder. So the rate is two thirds of what other people will pay. So here's the thing, you guys need to be founders. You should get in there and get a free trial now. Okay, get in there and get the free trial now so that you'll be on the founders list. But also make sure that you get all your team in there. Tell them to get in there and start a free trial right now so that they can get on that founders list too. All right, okay, so let's get in here and do it. So I'm logged into Teamsy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through the setup wizard. The first time you come in, you're going to be in a setup wizard and, and it's right here, I'm gonna relaunch it for you. This just makes it super easy to set up, okay? And here's what I want you guys to know. You like how I, see I, I chose this shirt because it matches the screen. You, you guys like that? I know you guys look for those details, right? All right. If I can do this, you guys can do this. Okay, so we're gonna do three things in the setup. We're gonna set an income goal, okay? And then Teamsy's gonna tell you in the background, it's gonna do all the math for you. It's gonna tell you what you need to do every day to achieve that income goal, okay? Then we're gonna create a powerful why. Hopefully you guys know what that is. If not, I'll teach you a little bit on that. But you need to know why you're working so that you have a reason to never quit. Also, we're gonna get your, your contacts imported into Teamsy, get them ranked so that we can um, Teams, you will tell you who to contact and when. Okay, great. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is set an income goal. Just set a goal. And this is the income level you'd like to be at 12 months from now. I put $100,000. Okay, next. Now look, some of you guys are studs and you're already making multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars. Great. Your income goal is just going to be what's the new income you want to create this year from your own activities, your own sales, and your own recruiting. Okay, 
So great. So now what it's done is it's crunched the numbers for me and it's telling me that if I want to make $100,000 in 12 months, I need to connect with 2,899 people over the next 12 months. Okay, 2,899 people. That's actually not too bad. Now, how many of you guys know how to eat an elephant? Have you ever heard this before? If you have a big number like 2,899, you need to do it one bite at a time. Okay, so the next page, there's little videos, by the way, on all these pages uh, explaining what you're doing there. The next page breaks it down for me into bite-sized chunks, okay? So basically, I've got three groups. I've got prospects, I've got customers, and I've got consultants, okay? Prospects, customers, and consultants. So I'm going to break these into three groups, and then I'm going to break it down yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily. So Teamsy has given me a suggestion on what I need to do every day to hit my goal, and that is to connect with six prospects, four customers, and um, three consultants okay six four and three that's only 13 people now I just want you guys to know when you go in and do this you're gonna go to 13 and keep going because it's gonna be fun but if I just did this every day I would hit my goal now also it's I've got a goal to invite people so this is more than connecting this is actually inviting them to an opportunity to a consultation to a three-way call more getting more in depth with their with the follow-up based on their interest level and then ads these are new people to my list new people I'm meeting on social media or in the real world that I'm adding to my list every day. Okay. Great. Oh, one thing too, is you can change these numbers. You can change them. You can, you can edit them. Whatever you put in these boxes, when you click continue, it will configure your dashboard to these goals. Okay. Great. Next step is finding your why. Okay. So guys, Here's the thing I want to talk to you about this really quick. And sometimes I can go off on a major tangent on finding your why, and I'm going to try not to, but I am very passionate about this. So I want to make sure that I, that I give you a little bit into this. This is really important because in this business, the turnover is, is pretty huge, right? I mean, typically in network marketing, it's one out of every two people quit within a year. And that's no different with Redan and Fields. People quit. And the truth is, I say this with love, you guys, that every one of you, myself included, are quitters. And we've got it. We've got the muscle memory. We've quit lots of things. And here's what I want you guys to understand. There's going to be moments where you come up against a quitting point, and that's when something's hard or challenging or life circumstances get in the way, and it feels like you should quit. The only reason people don't quit when they're confronted with a quitting point sometimes is because they have a strong why. They have a powerful why. They have a reason to persist in what they're doing. Now, here's the thing, guys. You need to know that why before you hit the quitting point because if not, you'll be defenseless. You'll be defenseless. We feel so strongly about this that we built it into the setup wizard in Teamsy. We, we want you to discover your why so that you will be strong and ready for challenges. Does that make sense? So what we did was we are personal growth, personal development junkies over here at Teamsy. We've read all the books. We've been to all the seminars on how to do your why. And we've given you guys, we've made it easy for you to do it right here. So you don't have to go do all that stuff that we've done. All right, let me go back to Teamsy. I'll, I'll lead you through the process. <laughs> Okay, so what it is, it's kind of like a journaling exercise right in the setup, right? And each question is just going to get you into your own head a little bit to help you uncover your why. Okay, so the first question is an easy one. Why did you become a consultant? Okay, and a lot of you might say, well, I really liked the products, <laughs> right? So I became a consultant because I really liked the products. Well, what did you hope to accomplish? And I'll take you through the process that I went through, you guys, when I... Um, was going through this process thinking about Teamsy and building my own business. Um, what did I hope to accomplish? I thought to myself, gee, if I could make 500 bucks extra money, that would be awesome. Like a month. I wanted to make 500 bucks a month extra money. That was my goal. The next question is, why is that important to you? Well, you know, at that time, I had been kind of stuck in a rut for about five years. I don't, anyone ever feel like that? Just kind of stuck? And financially, my family hadn't moved forward an inch. I mean, by the grace of God, we didn't move backwards either. 
We just kind of were holding steady. We weren't able to save a penny. And to me, 500 bucks a month would be a game changer. That would mean I would start building a surplus again. So that's, that was exciting to me. Why is that important to you? Oh, sorry, that's the question I just answered. What would achieving this mean for, your fa for you and your family? And so when I started thinking about that question, I was like, huh, you know, maybe if I could save enough money, we could buy a new house. Because our house is kind of small. We have, uh, gosh, how many kids do we have now? We have three kids, but my wife's due in, in six weeks, so we'll have four. Uh, we have a 100-pound Rottweiler. She takes up as much room as a kid. We have a small house, so I thought, man, it'd be great if we could buy a new house. That would be awesome. So then I get to the last question. Why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? And I'll be honest with you guys. This is where I was kind of like, why am I doing this hippy-dippy weird stuff right now? You know, it was kind of frustrating to me. I took my dog for a walk. And I really thought about it. Like, why do I really care about a new house? Why is this important to me? And what I realized, I came to a realization. So I'm just sharing this with you guys. Obviously, your process is going to be your process. It won't be the same as mine. But I just kind of want to give you an example, my own example, so you can kind of see how this works. I get down to this thought, I don't really care if we get a new house. Like, I really don't care. I mean, it'd be nice. But I realized the house was symbolic. It was symbolic to me that my family wasn't healthy. You know, that we weren't right. Like something wasn't right. And at that time I was working a corporate job. I was constantly traveling. And when I was home, I was commuting. I never saw my kids, maybe 30 minutes in the morning, maybe 30 minutes in the evening. I was working all the time and never getting ahead. I was stuck, stuck in a rut. I was unhealthy because I was constantly traveling, eating out. And it was just a difficult situation. I didn't want a new house. I wanted a new life. I wanted to design my own life. And that's when I started realizing that this opportunity was a way for me to create the life that I always wanted. So I created my why. And you guys will see my why is your example text. You need to write your own over it. But my why was this, to create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family. And I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and I'm full of energy, okay? That was my why statement. Here's the thing, guys. Whatever you put in this last box will save to your dashboard. And every time you log into Teams, you do your power hour, you will read it. It's so powerful because think about this. As you create this why statement for yourself and your family, when you come in and you don't feel like connecting with people today, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like it you read that statement and you realize what's at stake. And it's like, you know what? I can do this for 15, 20 minutes because that's all it's going to take to do this. Like you guys, I'm going to show you in a second how freaking fast and efficient it is. And we keep making this system better for you guys. What you guys are getting in beta is like after a year of improvement. Okay. All right. So one more thing on my why. Some of you guys are more motivated by fear than you are by, you know, the faith in gain. You know who you are. And, and, and there's no judgment in that. I just want you to recognize that if that's the case, your why needs to also have consequences in it. Like what happens if I fail? What are the consequences of me failing in this business? I want you guys to know that because if that's more motivating for you, fine. Okay. That's more motivating for you. Fine. If you need to say, instead of I have time with my kids, you want to say, I have a terrible relationship with my kids because I'm always working. That's fine. You just need your why there to motivate you, to give you that little kick in the pants and keep you to be, help you be consistent, 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 consistent in building your business. Okay, let's get back in there and go, keep on going. So I didn't put anything in there. Um, I'm just going to write test, test, test so you can see when it's on the dashboard, okay? All right, next page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load up some contacts. We're going to get your contacts in. Okay, go to Pulse. There's a video here on how to do it. And you're going to get your consultants list imported in here and you're going to get your um, auto ship customers in here and imported from Pulse. Okay. You want them on your list so you can connect with them. Then you're going to go to Facebook and get your Facebook friends list. This is my favorite part because you're, if you're like me or like I was before teams, you're going to be like, you know, going through your Facebook messages, trying to remember who you're connected with. And it's just willy nilly. There's no system. This way you're going to get your list in here. And, um, 
you're going to be organized. You're going to be contacting people. It's structured. It's just going to be so awesome. All right. And then anywhere else you have contacts, you can bring them in as a CSV file from any other CRM or anything, Google, whatever, wherever you have contacts, you bring them in. These little videos will show you how to do it. Okay. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and import a file real quick just to show you how to do it and then we'll then we'll rank them and we'll do a power hour. So I've got my Facebook download right here. Uh, there it is. I'm going to put that in. All right. Now one thing I always do is I like to tag my imports and say where they're coming from. So if you toggle this advanced options, you can add tags to everybody that's coming in. So we're going to call them Hold on, I can't type. Facebook friends, okay? Great. All right, continue. And you can see how quick it is. I mean, I've got 1,700 or so coming in. It's gonna be done in like 12 seconds. Now they put my tags in, great. All right, so now here we're gonna do, the next step is ranking, okay? The next step is ranking. So let me just talk to you guys about this really quick. This is really important. We rank people in Teamsy so Teamsy knows how often to put them on your list, okay? And that way you never have to do any planning. If you guys are good at con connecting with people now, there's a lot of planning, right? You've got your sheets and your lists and you're prioritizing and highlighting and trying to figure out who you talk to and following up. This is all gonna be done automatically for you, okay? There's no planning. You literally will turn on your computer, do your power hour and be done. I want you guys to know I have a Mac, so I, I tell my computer that I want it to turn on, connect to the internet, and be ready to go with my, with my web browser open at 4.15 every day. I come out at 4.30, it's on and ready. I'm going. So, I mean, that's how, how awesome it's going to be. So let me explain to you how we do the ranking. It's just like, um, it's just like ranking a Netflix or ranking something on Amazon, right? Five stars is awesome, one star sucks. Right, you guys know how to do this. Now, let me explain to you what the what the stars mean. A five star. This is somebody that's most likely to become a customer or consultant, or they're an existing customer or consultant that's a rock star. Okay, these are your hottest people, and they're going to show up on your list to connect with them every month. Now, I wanted you. I want you guys to know when I say connect, I don't mean follow up. I don't mean invite. I don't mean anything like that. I mean just connect. We're just going to say hello and try to make their day. Okay, a four star person, this is somebody that's likely to become a customer or coach with a little bit of nurturing, okay? Or they're an existing person on your team who's consistent, consistent performer. They're gonna show up every 60 days. Three stars, they show up every 90 days. This is somebody that could go either way. You don't know, right? You don't know. And most of the people on your list will be three stars, okay? Um, and then two stars, these are people that are getting a little colder. They show up every four months. And then one star, they're people that you have on your list, but you really don't want to talk to them much. They don't show up on your dashboard. They're there if you need to look them up. Okay. So let's go to the next stage and actually do this now that I explained it. And so it brings you into your list and you can see everybody's already a three. So we made this really easy for you. So you don't actually have to rank everybody. You're just going to go through really quick. I'm just going to do my prospects list. You're just going to go through and find the people that you want to be fours and fives and just promote a few people. It is important to do that, guys, because otherwise there's no priority at all. So you want to make sure your best people are prioritized higher. But you can do this really quickly. If you have a big list, I mean, I had 1,700 people. Some of you guys might have 5,000 people. That's okay. You can still do this in 15 or 20 minutes, get a nice glass of wine, put on some smooth jazz, and just crank through it. Remember, you can leave most people three and you're just looking for the people you wanna move down and up. Also, you can change ranks constantly as you go. So you just wanna take one quick cut through this and then do it as you go. Does that make sense? Okay. So now we've got everybody ranked and we're gonna now go to our dashboard and do our power hour. So here's the dashboard, okay? I wanna just show you, give you a quick tour of it and then we'll do a power hour. Over here's your rank, so when you change rank, you can change that, right? It's kind of cool, just exciting to see that change. Your why is printed right here. There's the test, test, test I wrote, but your why statement will be right here. If you want to look somebody up that's not on your dashboard, you can just look them up here and it'll go to their contact record. You get somebody new that you want to add, you just met, you just click right there and you add them, okay? Now, here is your goals for the day. Six prospects, four customers, five consultants, I want three invites and three ads to my list, 
Those are my goals for the day, okay? Um, if you click edit daily goals, you can go back and change your goals. I've also got my dailies. Did I post to social media? Did I do some personal development work? Did I take care of my skin? Okay, great. So this is the magic right here. Who's up next? This is where all of the smart contact algorithms that are built into Teamsy go to work for you. Okay, they go to work for you. They create your up next list. These are the people you're gonna connect with next. Don't overthink it, just reach out and connect. There's four groups here, prospects, customers, consultants, and follow-ups, okay? We're gonna start with our prospects. Always go left to right, just trust me in this, go in this order. So the first person on my list is Andy Gast. So here's what I'm gonna do, I use Facebook. I'm, I'm obsessed with Facebook. Facebook Messenger is my favorite thing and it just keeps getting better keeps getting better. So I use that probably 99% of the, my contacts are through Facebook Messenger. But you can also do, I mean, we've got in here, depending on what you like, email, text, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn, phone calls, greeting cards, meeting with people in person, right? All, these are all the different types of connects that we can log. But I'm going to demonstrate Facebook Messenger because for the most part, you can start a lot of conversations that way. All right, so I've got Facebook open right here, and I'm going to just jump over here and look up Andy. I think it's actually Andrew in here. Yeah. All right, now check this out. Before I message him, I'm gonna to toggle back to Teamsy because I wanna show you something cool. See this button right here that says scripts? So you can see, uh, I don't know if you, I haven't talked to Andy in a long time, right? You guys are gonna come across people like that you haven't talked to in a long time. We used to work together many, many years ago. So I'm gonna to go to scripts to get a little help. And this is a Facebook message, so I'm gonna you choose the type of communication you wanna look at. And it already knows that he's on my prospect list, smart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this one, the second one, connect to. See, it says, hi Jane, it's been a while since I checked in with you. How are you, I hope all's going great. I'm gonna copy that script. Check this out, you guys, so cool. All right, we're gonna send him a message. So you can see I haven't talked to him since 2011, looks like he messaged me in 2012 and I didn't respond. <laughs> really great friend I am. So look, I just pasted that from my clipboard, that, that Teensy script that we provide for you guys. I'm gonna change the name, obviously. Boom, send, okay? Simple, right? Now, I'm just gonna copy this so I don't have to type his name again. And I'm gonna toggle back to Teensy and I'm gonna log that. So now my tracking is done too. There's my conversation I sent through Facebook. That was a Facebook message. And then when I log it, he's gone off my list. You notice that? Completely gone, my list moves up. I go to the next person, Tanya. It's Tanya, right? There she is, Tanya. Okay, great. Now check this out, message. It's been a while since I've talked to her. I'm gonna paste. Right? I'm gonna paste the same message. You see how quick you can do this, guys? Now imagine, I had to do, how many, just six? Is that what it was? You see how this circle starting to fill in? Gives you a little, a little um, encouragement to keep going. So look, I log that, now I've got two down, I've got four left. <clears throat> Crank through those. Six will take me 10 minutes, maybe. So I'm gonna go through this, boom, 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 until this is blue. That whole circle is blue and it says six. I've got a zero in the middle, none left, right? I've got six in the middle, sorry, zero here. Then I'm gonna to move to the next tab, which is customers. Okay, I'm gonna to move to the next tab. The same thing here, you guys. The same thing here. You're gonna have scripts, things that you can use. Okay? Just. Don't overthink it. The whole goal here is to reach out, connect with people, and make their day. You guys see I've got right here, make someone's day mindset. The goal is not to make a sale. The goal is not to recruit somebody. The goal is to just make somebody's day. Get them to smile. Lift them up a little bit. And find a way to make their day. Listen for wants and needs. Find a way to help them. Some people, they just need a, a smile. They need someone to pr uh, a prayer. They need a friend. They might need a new pediatric dentist, and you know a great one. Find a way to help them and make their day. The goal with a connect is to start a conversation. 
It's just to start a conversation. And if you're connecting with 15 or 20 people a day and you're starting conversations, you guys should, you guys should probably expect about a 50% or better response rate to your connects. So if you're reaching out to 20 people a day, you're creating 10 conversations every single day. Just conversations, just chats. Some, some will lead somewhere, some won't. But if you consistently do this, you consistently reach out, you consistently strive to make somebody's day. First of all, people are going to love, love it when they see you coming. They're going to be excited to hear from you. They're going to think you're the best. And as you're having these conversations, guys, this is where you use your training. This is where you ask questions. This is where you listen for wants and needs. You catch up with their lives. You be a friend to somebody. Um, and then as the conversation leads towards the business and they're interested, that's where you put them on the follow-up list, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. But right now, we're going to get on your customers list. So these are the people who are customers. They've got products coming. It's so important to be in contact with them. So important to be in contact with them. Okay, there's a few reasons. The number one reason is it's just the right thing to do. You want to have relationships with people. You want to build those relationships. But the bottom line is, is that people will cancel their auto ship. They'll stop using the products. They think they're too expensive. They're going to look for something cheaper. They need to be constantly educated on what they're getting and on the new products and on different things. They need you to be their consultant, right? They need you to be their consultant. They're, they're, they're looking to you to do that for them. You need to be in touch with them to connect with them. Also though, guys, the hottest source of a new customer is your current customer. The hottest source of a new consultant is your current customer as well. These are people who are using the products and enjoying them and getting great results. You don't think they're talking about it to everybody they know? They absolutely are. You need to be in contact with them so you can ask them to introduce them to the people who are interested in learning more. Okay, it's so huge. So Teams is gonna do it. You're just gonna go through. You've, you've contacted all of your prospects for the day. Now you're gonna go through your customer list. You're gonna reach out. Hey Barb, how's things going? Hope you're enjoying that, whatever. And then you're gonna get to your team. You're gonna go through your team, connect with your team the same way, you guys. The same way. Because it's called Teamsy. Don't think that you're too, my dad used to say, big for your britches. Anyone else have a dad that talks like that? I'll probably end up being a dad like that. Don't be too big for your britches. You get successful and now you're too busy to talk to your consultants. Having a Facebook group or, or getting on a live Zoom call with them once a week, that's not a relationship, okay? They're your team. They need to hear from you just like customers. Consultants quit for the same reason, and it's usually a communication vacuum. Just reaching out, sending them a message. How's your day going? Is there anything I can do to help you or support you today? Just wanted you to know I was thinking about you, that I appreciate you, that I'm proud of you. Okay, it only takes a second. Teams is gonna help you stay on top of your team. If you're new and you've got nobody on your team, you can set that goal to zero. But here's the thing, you, will, you won't be there for long. You won't be there for long. So you're gonna be building up those teams and building those relationships, becoming a leader. So you're gonna go through these lists, guys. You go through prospects, customers, consultants, and then you get to your follow-ups list. Okay, then you get to your follow-ups list. So let me show you how to do this. Let's say, that my buddy Andy, look, you can see I got a message already back from Tanya. Let's say that my buddy Andy responds back to me and we have a great conversation, right? And that great conversation leads to him being interested in learning more about the products, okay? Great, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look him up, I think it was under his full name. There he is. <laughs> And that's gonna bring me to his record. Okay, so here we are on his record. If I go to activity feed, I can see that message I sent him, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm talking to him, he's interested in learning more, I'm gonna invite him to something, right? So let's say, um, let's say we're gonna invite him to a three-way call with my upline, okay? So I clicked invite this time. So, you know, and you just put a note here, great convo wants to learn more. Great. So when I log this, you guys, I need to set a follow-up. It's so important for me to set a follow-up. So he's interested, you know, and I'm gonna invite him, and now I need to follow up to make sure that we get everything scheduled the way it's supposed to be, okay? 
So now I'm gonna set my follow-up for tomorrow, let's say. Now when I log this connect, you can see now there's a follow-up set, okay? So when I go back to my dashboard tomorrow and I'm doing my power hour and I go through my prospects, my customers, my consultants, and I get to my follow-ups list, oh yeah, I need to follow up with Andy, okay? Now guys, this is super important. And you may be following up before and after the three-way call, you know, but you're gonna keep people on your follow-ups list. As long as they're on your follow-up list, they'll never fall through the cracks. You continue to follow up with them until it leads somewhere or until it doesn't, okay? Now, here I wanna give you guys a stat that you may or may not have heard. Do you guys know that 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and the 10th follow-up? Have you guys heard that before? 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and the 10th follow-up. So the question I have for you guys is, are you following up 10 times typically? And if you're not following up 10 times, well, let me ask you a couple questions. If you're not, is it because you just don't have a great system and you, it's hard to follow through 10 times? Or is it because you feel like you're bugging or nagging people? Okay, that's, that's why most people don't follow up 10 times. They feel like they're bugging people. Okay. So let me just explain something about follow-ups. And this is really important. I want you guys to have a mindset shift. Teams is all about relationships. You guys may have already noticed. I didn't get have a, time, a lot of time tonight to go deep into relationship marketing, but it's about building relationships. It's a different approach. It's about bringing value first. It's about loving people. It's about helping people. And knowing that if we help enough people and if we make enough people's days, that our business is gonna grow every day. Okay, and our approach to follow-ups is this. Are you ready? Following up is an act of love. Following up is an act of love. Because when somebody's interested and they've talked to you and they wanna know more, and you follow up with them, it just shows that you care enough about them to, to follow up and help them with what they wanted help with. Does that make sense? When you fail to follow up, you're communicating to them that you just don't care enough about them to do that. Haven't you guys ever noticed, haven't you guys ever noticed the emotion that you feel when somebody says they're gonna follow up with you and they don't? What do you think? Well, obviously they didn't care much about that, right? Following up is an act of love. Are you a lover of people? Then you need to be excellent at follow up. Now, here's the thing. Let me show you how easy it is to follow up 10 times. Because we built all these scripts in and, I, and I'm trying not to look at the chat, but I can't help it. Somebody asked, are the scripts customizable? Um, there's a bunch of scripts in here that we put in to help you and you can put your own scripts in too. You put your own scripts in and they're ready to use whenever you want them, okay? But check this out. So I'm on my follow-ups list and I wanna go um, connect with Andy. There's actually 10 follow-ups in here, okay? There's 10 follow-ups in here that you can send. One, two, you just go and grab one. Okay, you can just grab one and send it. All right, so we've made this easy. And again, you can create your own too. Okay, so here's the thing. When I set my follow-up, guys, always set the next follow-up. Always set the next follow-up. And when someone's really interested, I recommend following up daily for several days. I do. Follow-up daily. They're just short messages. Daily for several days, and then you might back it off to a couple days. Why is it so important? Because, remember, following up is love. The other thing is, when they're excited about something, and they, they're like, oh yeah, I'm excited about this. Then they get back into their life. They get back into their life, they get busy, and it's like, oh yeah, I need, to, I need to respond. And they get busy, and then they see your message. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Every time they get that little nice message from you, because remember, just follow the tone of the messages that we put in there for you, because the idea of a follow-up is not to nag somebody, it's not to ask them for anything. It's just to let them know, hey, I'm here still. I'm still here. I'm still here to serve you. I'm still here to help you. As soon as you're ready, here I am. Have you guys ever been to like a five-star restaurant or like, you know, like a, like a four-star Michelin restaurant? Have you guys ever eaten one of those where like the service is impeccable and usually you'll have like three or four waiters that stand like 11 feet away from you? Have you guys ever experienced that? And it's like, 
you will go to do something and somebody's there with something that you need. And it's amazing. It's amazing. That's you. When you follow up, that's you. Hey, I'm here. Hey, I just want to let you know I'm here. I can't wait to help you with the goals that we talked about. Uh, you know, and you're just constantly just giving them little drips. You are reconnecting them to the hope they felt the first time they talked to you. Does that make sense? And when you go through the process of following up with somebody, you know, each day when you get to your, each day when you get to your follow-ups list and you see that person there and you follow up and you set the next follow-up and he's back on your follow-up list. And then the next day when you come back, there he is again. Now I'm going to follow up again. You get to a point where let's say you followed up 10 times and they never responded. Does that happen? Yeah, it does sometimes. Great. Now I'm just going to take him back to default, put him back on default. And then let him go. He'll show back up on my list in three months and I'll connect again. Does that make sense? Nobody will ever fall through the cracks. This makes it so easy, you guys. You put your list in here. You get in here, you get up every morning. You have a blast making people's day, sending smiles, spreading the love, and then creating conversations. And then those conversations create all the opportunities in your business. Okay, I'm going to stop. <clears throat> That's all I want to show you tonight. That's the basics. Get yourself into the free trial. Get into the beta group. Get your teams in. Get everybody in. Do it together for 30 days. Get success partners. See how many connects you can do. I know I like to always take a screenshot of my Teamsy dashboard complete and text it over to my, to my success partner every night. She did the same thing to me. It drives us and motivates us. Get in there and do it. Get your teams in there. Remember, you guys are gonna get, a, get to not only shape the way this software works for you guys, but you're gonna get a great price on it after the free period's over. So make sure that everybody is in there. Now I'm gonna jump over to Q&A. This is the time to put your questions in. I'm gonna start answering them. All right. Christy says, I've been using Teamsy for a week. Under the invite, there's just an invite to a three-way call. Can we add invite to a BBL? Absolutely. And here's what I want you guys to do. You click that feedback button or you click this help button right here on the bottom. Oh, you can't see because I'm not sharing my screen. Hold on a second. Let me share my screen while I talk to you. Click this help button and put those suggestions in, okay? Because it's still kind of a blank canvas. And we want to know what are the most important invites that you guys want on the dropdown, okay? Tammy says, can you use LinkedIn? Absolutely, you can export your LinkedIn and put it in there. In fact, I believe it's in the FAQs on how to do it. It's very easy to do. When you import, can you move someone to another list? And this is anonymous, this is awesome, I love this. Okay, so look, let's just say we're talking about Andy right now, and I'm gonna go to his record so we can see him on the team page, okay? So here's Andy, now check this out. He's a prospect, but let's say he becomes a consultant. All I need to do is just click this on his thing, boom. Now he's a consultant, he's moved to the other list, okay? Was he personally sponsored? Yeah, let's say he's personally sponsored, so now he's on the right list. Um, he might be in my downline, maybe I didn't sponsor him, or maybe he's just another consultant that I know that's my buddy and I wanna keep him on my list, okay? So that would be where I put fellow team. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. I see the questions coming in, awesome. Nicole says, just want to give you a heads up. I imported my PC auto ship report and my downline report last night. The downline report also includes our PC, so I ended up with duplicates and needed to go back and delete. Those that come in on the downline report are categorized as a consultant by default. So it's just a quick step to change PCs from consultant to customer by checking the other box of the details. Okay, thank you, Nicole, for letting me know that. I will have the tech guys look at that and see if they can, they can fix that with programming, and I'm sure that they can. Awesome. Okay, Mindy says, I'm a new consultant, have already reached out to Facebook friends. Is there a way to automatically enter them, or do I need to go through my list and enter them manually? Um, here's what I would say, Mindy, just, just go through the list again, just connect with people. Okay. If you connected with them yesterday, just, you know, delay them, change their grade or whatever. But most people, if you have a big list of Facebook friends, you're going to come through that. They're going to just come through organically. Okay. If you've reached out to your friends one time, you're, you're definitely not done. 
You never finish. Okay, so actually, here's one thing I want to talk to you guys about. This is important because I haven't talked to this network before. But I hear this all the time from people, which is, I've already gone through my warm market. Have you guys ever heard someone say that? I've already gone through my warm market. Now what? First of all, that's a complete lie. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. So anybody who says that, and I don't care how successful they are, you need to call BS on that. How do you go through your warm market? I already called my mom, so I'll never talk to her again, right? Here's the thing. If you feel that way, it's probably because the approach that you had was not relational. It was transactional. And that's the way every trainer in this industry teaches you how to be, is to be transactional. You know, are you interested? Can I sell you something? You know, look, I'm having a sale. I just want the transaction. If you're using the approach we're teaching you, which is relationship-based, hey, I just want to see how you're doing. How's life? How are your kids? What are you up to these days? Then you're building bridges and not burning them. Does that make sense? You're building bridges and not burning them. You're having conversations. You work the conversation in a natural way to see if someone's interested. If they're not interested right now, it's fine. You had a great conversation. They're going to be back on your teams in less than two or three months, and you have another conversation. You continue to move it forward. They continue to interact with you, continue to deepen the relationship with you. And they're watching you on social media. They know what you're doing and they're starting to get intrigued. Does that make sense? Okay. I don't know if I exactly answered your question, but you scratched something on me, something I'm passionate about. Matthew says, uh, our script's customizable. And I did answer that as we went. Yes, you can, you can create your own scripts um, and save them in there. Okay. Anonymous says, will the follow-up take priority and be at the top of the contact page? Does it bump somebody to the next day or just in addition? Okay, so the follow-ups, yeah, the follow-ups are priority, but they're in their own tab. Let me show you again. They're in their own tab. So on this list, they don't bump the, your prospects list. You've got your prospects, then your customers, then your consultants, and then your follow-ups list is separate. So you move people over to the follow-ups list when, you want to fo when you're like more aggressively following up because they've shown interest. Does that make sense? Okay. Matthew says, what was involved in creating the algorithms? Focus groups with RF, other MLM company work. That's a great question. Okay, so there's lots of stuff going into this, Matthew. One of it is, a lot of you don't know my background, but I've been a business coach for 15 years teaching people how to work with relationship marketing. Some of the contact ratios are universal. We found them to be universal across any industry. So some of those contact ratios are universal. But we also definitely talked to um, successful people and, and found out, like, what are the, you know, the thing about really successful people is they track, they know their numbers. So they know how many people they're reaching out to in order to get an interest, how many people it takes um, that, to recruit before they actually have one that builds a team, things like that, okay? What we did also, Matthew, was we dumbed down these algorithms. We assumed you're not very good yet, and we made them kind of easier. So you're going to be doing a little bit more activity in the beginning. But basically, it just figures out if you connect with this many people, statistically, you should create this many sales, and you should be connecting, uh, creating this many new recruits to your team. Okay, Lauren says, this is fantastic, Eric. I've been searching for something like this for years. Thank you so much. Lauren, we're excited that you're excited. Can you show how to set a follow-up one more time? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so let me move this over. Wherever you are, there's a few, few ways you can do it, okay? And one thing I do wanna show you guys, let me just show you this really quick. If you click on university, it's gonna take you to uh, this page which has there's an online community where people talk about stuff, but also, see right here, you're going to go into this FAQ for Rodana Fields, and there's some great videos in here um, that teach you how to do some basic things, okay? So I want you to know they're all there for you. One of these is how to set a follow-up, but I'm going to do it live for you right now. Okay. Let me go back to TMZ. Somehow. So if you're talking to Julie, you want to set a follow-up. Basically, you just change this from default to whatever date. Tomorrow, two days, four days, a week. You can even do a custom date, right? Whenever. When you log this message, 
it's going to set that follow-up. Okay, so she's off my list, but now she's on my follow-up list. Okay, so there's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is if you're on someone's, uh, if you're on somebody's record. So Matthew, if I want to go to his record, I can click on his name right here to jump to his record, or I can even look him up. All right, let's just look him up. And an error because I did it, I did it too fast. Moving faster than my computer. Okay, so there he is. So now if I want to create a follow-up on his record, I do the same thing. I can just create it. Okay. On his record, I don't have to do a connect to create a follow-up. So you saw on the dashboard I had to actually send him a message to do a follow-up. Here I can just send him up. Okay. That's how you set follow-ups. Okay, so now when you're on the dashboard and you're following up with them, again, as you work these follow-ups, you just set the next follow-up. Okay, you just set the next follow-up. Now, one more thing about follow-ups. When you have a long list of follow-ups and you want to see more than five, because we only show you five people on Up Next, we don't want you to be overwhelmed. We want it to be a bite-sized chunk. We give you five at a time, the list of scrolls. But you get to your whole list on Team, and you can see your whole follow-ups list right here on Team. Okay, so you can work your whole follow-up list on Team if you want to, if you've got a long list. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Lynn says, I imported my contacts from Pulse and my friends list from Facebook. One of my customers is also on Facebook friends list and she's in Team Z three times. Can't tell which is which. What's the best way to address duplicates? Great question, Lynn. Okay, so Team Z will not duplicate somebody if they have the exact same name or the exact same email address. However, on Facebook, a lot of times people have their maiden names. Their name's not exactly the same as they might be in Pulse. So you will get a few duplicates. The easiest thing to do is simply, well, let me go to my list. When you're on your prospects list, if you want to delete somebody, you just put it, like if you had two Tanyas, the one you don't need, you just delete it, boom, drop it in the trash. Now, one thing I do is like I will tag, I like to tag on the import, I showed you guys how to do that. So if you want to tag people on import, then you can see, okay, this one is my Facebook friend one, and this one is my, you know, maybe from Pulse. You can tag it. If you already, now, Lynn, you already did the imports, but if you wanted to put tags on everybody, you could re-import the same lists with the tags and it would just add tags, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, a lot of times though, you'll know the Facebook, the Facebook name because it's like three names with initials. It's always the longer version. Matthew says, my wife and I are a team. We have similar Facebook contacts as well as separate. We're looking for something we can both have individual accounts in that are tied together so we aren't stepping on each other's toes. Can Teamsy do that? If not, is there any issue with two people working the same account in terms of data overriding? Okay. Matthew, you've got to be an engineer or something because your questions are sophisticated. Um, there's no problem. Yes, if you guys are writing data in the exact same place in Teamsy at the exact same time, you can override each other. Yes, the, the probability of that happening is very small, okay? Because we do have husbands and wives working teams together. Typically what they do is they will tag their contacts. So, you know, all of Matthew's contacts are tagged Matthew's contacts. But here's another thing that I'll give you guys a little tip for husband and wife teams, okay? Because my husband, my, my husband, my wife and I, we build our team together also. And that is that whether it was her customer or my customer, we always introduced ourselves as Lisa and Eric. And it, so if you get in the habit of doing that, then one or the other can always message everybody. And you could say, you know, we're so excited or we're checking in on you and then sign your name. That way it's always from the team. So that's one way you can do it. But definitely you can use tags um, to differentiate who's, who's contact. Does that make sense? Okay. Jennifer says, is there a way to add your iPhone contacts to Teamsy? Yes, absolutely, and it's in the FAQs on how exactly to do it. Stephanie says, love Teamsy. Is there a way to add notes on a specific to-do and or task? There's no to-do list in Teamsy. We originally had it. We took it out. We took it out because it just wasn't. Like there were so many to-do lists out there that are awesome. So we took it out of Teamsy just to keep it simple. Okay. Um, you can add notes easily to anybody, um, to anybody's record. I can't even think straight. By clicking notes. See right here? So clicking notes, you can type in notes, right? Okay. And then when I'm on the dashboard, 
because I think he's actually on my dashboard right now, which is perfect. If I'm on the dashboard and I go to notes, I can see any notes I've kept about him and I can add more notes. Okay, so those notes are always gonna be there. Details is gonna show me his tags and any other details that I kept data-wise and his member type, things like that. Activity is gonna show me all the conversations I've had with him. Does that make sense? And then connect is where I connect with him. Okay. Michelle says, I love having success partners or power partners, so beneficial. You're absolutely right. By the way, guys, the reason why there's more than one person on the planet is because we need other people to be successful. So yeah, do this as a team, but you should all get a success partner for 30 days. Get in the trial with a success partner. And if you don't have one now, a power partner, I like that, Michelle. If you don't have one, get one just for 30 days. Okay, you gotta try them out before you commit, trust me. Because if you get a success partner that gets on your nerves, it's no fun. Okay, and Amelia, did I say that right? Says, can you show us how some of the other communication methods work, i.e. Instagram? Well, basically, you're just logging them in Teamsy. Okay, you're just logging them in Teamsy. So you're just going to message, if you direct message somebody on Instagram and you want to log it in Teamsy, that's how you log it. Okay? And you're just going to select whatever you selected. Let's say it was Instagram. Boom. You're just going to log it there and create it. Now, there is one exception. One exception that Teamsy will actually send the message for you. You're not just logging it, and that's email. You can send an email from Teamsy. Okay, you're just gonna integrate your Gmail account with it. I haven't done it yet for this account. And then you can send emails directly, which is pretty cool. And there's templates for emails also in here, which is awesome, I'm scripts. Okay, besides email though, you have to actually open up the other network, Facebook, text message, um, Snapchat, Instagram. Does that make sense? Okay. Megan says, how should we use dailies? What are those for? Look, you know, and again, you guys can refine these as you guys use this. Tell me what should really be here. These are the things that you need to be doing in order to be a product of your product, right? Because you're selling a lifestyle. So we want to make sure you're posting on social media every day, that you're active there. We want to make sure that you're doing personal development work. This is the most important thing. And I know you guys know this and you talk about it you know, I know it's a Rodan and Fields thing to be investing in personal development, but you got to be reading. You got to be listening to podcasts. You got to be listening to audiobooks. You have to be improving your mind. Okay. Because if you're not doing personal development, your business will not grow. Period. And then we just want to make sure you're using your products. Are you using your products? Are you getting results? Are you sharing that? So you just check these off. Yeah, I'm using it. I did it today. I did it today. Okay, it just helps you to be a product of the product. It makes you more confident and it helps you really connect with people, if that makes sense. Okay, Matthew says, addition of, addition of way to track expenses in business tab. Would love to be able to track basic. Oh, that's a suggestion. Great, track expenses, yes. We don't track expenses right now, but you can track your income. I don't know if you noticed that. You can track your income. You just come in here and you click you can click here, income plus, or you can click add income here. They both do the same thing. You put in your commissions for the week and you save them. That will track your income against goal. And also it'll help you understand how you're doing with your connects ratios. Okay. Um, personally, I use another app called Deductor. Spelled funny. There's It's like Deduct R, which is a simple app to track business expenses. It costs like 10 bucks a month. It's awesome. I met the guy who developed it. Um, it's not gorgeous. Like they didn't have like the best designer in the world, but it works really great. Tracks everything. You take pictures, of your receipts, it saves them. Tracks your, automatically tracks your mileage. You just turn it on and it tracks your mileage with GPS on your phone. Anyways, for sure, you guys, this is a little side note, but as business owners, you guys are business owners. You need to invest in your business. Teamsy is a no brainer. It's going to help you save you a ton of time, but you're going to have other things you need to invest in. You should be tracking your expenses so that you can get your amazing write-offs. I mean, you can write off everything as a business owner on your taxes. Team is also gonna be 100% write-off as a business expense. Okay. How do you know when to start discussing RF with them? That is a great question. And I can't just answer that one. It's a great question to ask your upline too. But as you're talking with people, you know, you're just talking with them. You're gonna deform them, right? You guys know, you know, family, occupation, recreation, form. Okay, 
So you're going to go through that pro that prospect uh, process, talking to them, having a conversation. Well, how are you? What are you up to these days? You know, they're oh, well, what are you up to these days? Oh, well, I'm doing Rodana Fields. It's amazing. You tell them a story. You tell them a story. You know, you measure their mo at that point. Uh, measure their motivation. Do they sound interested? Do you want some more information on it? I'd be happy to give that to you. You know. Yeah, I'm not really interested in that right now. Well, that's cool. Well, if you ever if you ever want to know more about it, you just let me know, and we'll stay in touch. And good luck with whatever. Guess what, Christian? She's going to be on your list again in a couple of months. You connect with her again. Does that make sense? But you want to always be kind of building that relationship up, building that relationship up. A lot of times, you're just planting a seed in the first couple of relationships. You're just planting a seed. You're creating some curiosity for what you're doing. Okay, great. Carolyn says, will there be an app for those who work on the go? Carolyn, there is a mobile website that works great. So you go to teamsy.com on your phone. So if you're on an iPhone, you go to you do it in Safari. If you're on um, an Android, you do it on Chrome. And once you log in, just save that to your home screen. Okay, save that to your home screen. Now, one pro tip on that. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you. I've got it right here on my phone. I'll show you what it looks like. Go a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. So you can see the little Teamsy logo right there. So let me, I'm going to give you a pro tip on this real quick as it logs this in for me. Okay, so it's going to take you to your login page. So get your password saved so it'll only take a second to log in. Okay. So now it's logged in to my, you can see it's logged into my, I don't know if you guys can see that lighting. There you go. You can see it's mobile. Okay, now here's the, here's the key. If I'm doing, mess, let's say I'm messaging or texting people, I, want, I don't want to go back to my home screen and press the Team D button every time. I just want to like toggle and um, you, know, you double click. You just want to multitask that way so you don't have to log in every time. So I can toggle over to, face, to, to text messages. Boom, I can send a text message. I can copy and paste it right back into Team Z. It's so fast. So awesome. Um, this summer, picking my, my son up from kindergarten, waiting in the line. How many of you guys pick up kids from school and you have to wait in that pickup line? You could do like 10 connects easy in that sort of situation. Okay. You guys have a lot of questions. I love it. Okay. I better speed this up. I still have 29 questions. Kristen says, will the data we input transfer smoothly from the beta time period into the live version? Absolutely. Basically, it's the same version. What beta means is that we're planning on making a lot of improvements based on your suggestions over the next few weeks. Does that make sense? Okay. Anonymous says, is this training video something we can share with our team? Absolutely. It's being recorded. We will put the link up on Facebook tomorrow and you guys will get an email with the link in two days or so. Please share it with your team. We want them all using Teamsy and we will help them as many as we can. Okay. Candy says, will our contacts be shared or sold? Oh my gosh, no. Are you kidding me? We wouldn't have a business if we did that. That would be the worst thing we could ever do for our business. If you actually read our, our policy, it's on the bottom of our website, you'll see that your contacts and data belong to you. You're the owner of them. Now, we give you a site to help you manage them, but they belong to you. We would never share them or sell them. In fact, we won't even access your data at all unless you need customer service help from us. Okay, so you can rest assured on that. If we ever did that, basically our business would be gone. Laura says, are you considering any ways to track organizations like a family or team tree? Uh, you know, send it through as a, as a help desk suggestion. We'll take any suggestion and consider it for sure. Michelle says, can the, can the import distinguish or tag those connections who are fellow consultants? The import can't do it unless you're importing them as consultants. Well, there's no way we, we just don't know who is. Okay. So if you go through your, you're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup. Now we try to minimize the amount of cleanup you need to do. We want the setup to be very simple for you, but you will definitely have to clean up. You're moving into your dream home and you still have to unpack the China, if that makes sense. Okay. Matthew says, if I import my Facebook friends on November and then grow my network by 500 people, want to import again in January, will Teams you recognize duplicates and only import the non-existing users? Yes. Was that simple enough? Should I, should I repeat it? So his question is, if he reimports his Facebook list next month, will it just bring in the new people and ignore all the other people and not create duplicates? And the answer is yes, that's what it does. Now, I do recommend that you add people consistently every day as you're meeting them on Facebook. Just click that add connect and add them. 
You got it? Okay, so do that. Michelle says, not my downline or upline, but side sisters. Yeah. So Michelle, I don't know if you saw this before, but when you have somebody coming in here, let's say like Brenda, right? And if I go over to um, details on her and she becomes a consultant, oh, it doesn't do it here. I'm going to have to go to her page. Okay. So let's use Christine. I'm going to go to Christine's page on her thing and I'll show you how this works. So if she's a consultant, now I have this fellow team tag that I can click. So this is where you put your, I love side sisters. This is where you put your side sisters, right? You just put them as fellow team. They're not downline, they're not personally sponsored, but they're still in your consultant list. Well, Eric, why would I keep somebody on my consultant list that's not in my downline? Because relationships are valuable, you guys. Relationships are valuable. And people, other consultants who aren't on your downline, they may be mentoring you. They might, they may be somebody who supports you. They may just be a friend and Teamsy gives you a way to stay in touch with people. Why wouldn't you leave them on there? The more you connect, the more love you share in the world, the more successful you are. Not everything is going to be quantitatively directly to your business. Does that make sense? Okay. Is your, is your app best used on Internet Explorer? I just noticed Chrome doesn't work well. Hmm. No, it should work fine on Chrome too. Um, so Anonymous, here's what I'll tell you. Only 2% of Teams users use Internet Explorer. That's not because it doesn't work there. It's just, it's just because that's our demographic. They're using Chrome and they're using Safari primarily. primarily. If you have something that's bugging on Chrome, Double check to make sure you have the most recent version of Chrome. Maybe you have an older version. Um, clean your cache out on Chrome, right? Clean out your, your memory cache because it does get gunked up on Chrome. And if you find that there's something buggy, just send it through the help desk so that we know what it is and we can get on it and fix it. I got here late. Is this recorded? Yes, it's recorded. Don't worry. We'll, and we'll put the link up on our Facebook page uh, probably tomorrow morning. Okay. What is the thought process behind tags? I've created tags so I can remember how I know people work, church, et cetera. Do you have other uses for tags? Lynn asks this. This is a great question, Lynn. And you know what? Um, it's been requested so much that I'm going to do a training soon on, on just how to leverage tags. Tags, you can use them for anything. It's just a way to group your list into different ways for different reasons to connect with them, right? So you can also create, because basically a tag creates a group. So you could be tagging, you know, we just had Veterans Day here in the United States, those of you guys that are in the US. So you could tag your veterans and then on Veterans Day, you can, you can go to that list and you can message everybody, for example. But it's also great if somebody's on a program, like if they're like on the, you know, the refine program, or whatever, it's great to tag them with that, right? If there's a sale, you can let them know, or if there's a new product line that supports that, you can go to that list and you can message people. Okay, so there's just so many different things you can do with tags. But here's what I will tell you guys. As somebody who's getting started, really I want you to just focus on doing your power hour, going through your up next list. If you just did that, if you just connected with people and started conversations consistently every day, you're going to create a lot of momentum. After you get that down, like after you get that part down, then you can start getting creative with tags and getting more sophisticated with your marketing to your list, if that makes sense. Okay, where am I? Anonymous says, will this recording be available? Yes, it will. It'll be on our Facebook page, linked, and we will email it to you. Do you recommend tracking sales in here as well? Yes. Kimmy, let me show you how to do it. All right, so you, you're gonna track a sale just because you wanna know that somebody bought something. So let's say we're at Christine, she bought something, right? Let's say she's, you know, I don't know. This is really basic. I just want to, I just want to log that she, she bought something. Okay. Why do I do that? I do that because I want to know, I want to know how many sales I'm generating based on how many people I'm connecting with. Does that make sense? And then you're going to put your income in separately. You're just going to put your whole commission, your whole commissions for the weekend so you can track income. So that's why you should, but yeah, you should definitely be tracking those because then you know, as you get into this and do it for a while, you can go, hey, wow, I'm doing pretty great. For every 20 times I connect with somebody, I create a sale. So now I'm excited to connect with 20 people today. Does that make sense? Mm 
Matthew says, what was the financial gain by using TMZ for Beachbody coaches? Did they notice following this strategy and using the style of organization improve the business? I know you can't give me specifics or make promises, but I'm curious if the consensus is that the tool is worth the investment money time to learn and optimize. Okay, Matthew, that's a great question. Yeah, I don't have like a, a data number, but I can tell you, I could give you a hundred, I could give you a thousand testimonials. Okay. And the reason why that, the reason why we give people always, I know you guys are in the beta test, but we will always give a 30 day free trial to Regina Field Consultants forever. Always. Because we know that if you use this for 30 days, you will get awesome results. We know you will more than pay. You should be able to pay for the entire year of Teamsy in the first 30 day of free trial. I'm not promising that, but I'm confident you can do that. If all you do is reach out and connect with people, you're going to create so much momentum. Okay. Now, as far as beach body stories, we have amazing stories. People who did, who did a 40, what would be the equivalent of 40 enrollment kits, um, you know, in one month doing this. So here's the thing I will tell you guys, this is based on, on a philosophy called relationship marketing. It's not just about teamsy, this approach, connecting with people, doing it consistently, becoming a trusted advisor, being somebody that people can lean on and trust, it works. It's worked since the beginning of time. It is the most solid way to build a business. Okay. Hope that helped, Matthew. What is the connect versus sale on the contact and follow-up card? Okay. A connect is just when you're reaching out to somebody and, and communicating with them. Okay. You're just logging a connect. I emailed them. I called them on the phone. I wrote them a card. I messaged them on Facebook. I connected with them. That's when I'm logging. A sale is they bought something. Okay. If you don't get to go to all the people who are supposed to contact, wait, if you don't get to all the people who you're supposed to contact, don't be a slacker each day. Does it get bumped to the next day? No, it doesn't. You know why? Other systems do that and it overwhelms people. The second you're overwhelmed, you never come back. When you open Teamsy, it gives you five people to connect with. Those are the next people. If you take two weeks off, they're going to be, you know, you're just going to come work on your list. That's it. You're just going to work on your list. You're just going to chip away at it. Now, does that mean that, oh, I missed yesterday, so today I'm going to double up? You can do that. Absolutely, you can do that. But just keep in mind that you're going to be creating a lot of conversations. So even though it may only take you 30 minutes extra to double your, your activity in Teamsy, during your power hour, just remember that you're going to have another 10 or 15 conversations to maintain the rest of the day, which is a good problem. I might have missed this, but what is university? So university is where you can go to learn. It's where you can go and you can learn about um, how to do things. So there's a few different things. You're going to go to Renana Fields right there. And so you've got, you've got in here um, different videos on how to do, how to get set up and different things that you're going to do in Teamsy. Over here in training and education are some training videos. This video will be there once it's done. Now that we start doing webinars for Rudan and Fields, those will be on training and education. And then also if you scroll down, oh wait, I went past it. It's on the first page. There's actually an online community where you can join the conversation with other people using it. Okay. All right, let me stop my share. Matthew says, ha ha, I am a Cisco, Cisco collaboration engineer. I knew it. I knew it. I love you guys. Don't get me wrong. I just, I'm not an engineer. I, just so you know, like for you, Matthew, I have, my partners are brilliant engineers who I've worked with in the past. I draw stuff on the whiteboard and my whole shed is whiteboard walls and, uh, and they make it happen. They're brilliant. Is Team Z a program we can use through an app on a phone? and a website on a computer. Yes, it is, Danielle. And um, I answered this a little while ago, but it's actually a mobile web page. It's not an app. So you're not going to find it in the app store. You're just going to go on, if you're on an iPhone, you're going to go on Safari. If you're on a, an Android, you're going to go on Chrome. You're going to go to teensy.com, log in, and then save it to your desktop, to your home screen on your phone. And the mobile website will work great, just like an app. Okay, so I'll just show you. I just did this a minute ago. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So hi there. Uh, 
This is what it looks like, by the way. There's the app. See the mobile web page? I don't know if you can see that. Dot CSV import keeps failing. An error message says Teams. He says it does not import. Okay. So um, I don't know exactly. What you can do is email that file to the help desk and they'll take a look at it. But here's what I will tell you is typically the problem with, with CSV files that don't import. The first thing that happens the most, I think, with, with network marketers is that they put they have one column for first and last name, like they put somebody's name, like Eric Johnson, in one column. And you have to know that you need to have names separated. First name, last name need to be separated. That's the most common mistake. And Teams doesn't know what to do with that because like any CRM on the planet, it separates first and last name into different columns. So that may be the, pro the problem. The other thing that happens a lot on the CSV is that there, there's, no, um, there's no headers on the columns. So if you had first name, you should, the first box should say first name. Does that make sense? Email address, just say email. That way it kind of has an idea of what kind of data it is. All right. But here's what I want you to know is you can just email that file to the help desk and they'll, they'll figure it out for you. Okay. Is Gmail the only email provider you can email through Teamsy? Mindy asks, yes. It's the only one you can do through Teamsy. Um, we chose Gmail because it has an open API. It's very easy to work with. It's free. We don't have to charge you to do emails through Teams. We are working on a bulk email solution through Gmail right now, which hopefully will be done by the end of the year, which will be awesome, which will also be free. You guys will have bulk email service without having to pay for it. Um, so that's why we like Gmail. Also, we did we polled our users, and it was like 98% use Gmail. So here's what I want you guys to know. If you don't use Gmail, just go get a Gmail account. Easy, right? I would like to see family time added to the dailies. As important as all this is, a reminder to spend some time with the kids and partners critical to success. I like that. Natalie says, I'm watching from my laptop. Is there an app for, for your phone? There is a mobile website. I think I just answered that enough that you saw it. Okay, great. Megan says, we've all accidentally entered someone's name wrong in a pasted message. The customization feature that would be gold to me and Teamsy. Any future plans have names, autofill, and scripts. That's a great idea. I like that. I like that. And I've done it too. I've done it too. Usually it just makes it fun. You just make it f funny out of it. I always tell them, well, just call me Susan or whatever. I'm like, sorry, I did that. Stephanie says, you guys have done a terrific job making this easy to use. The interface is almost as easy for my phone as it is for my desktop. Very impressed, especially that this is in beta stage. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm glad you think so. Now, just keep in mind, we had about 15,000 Beachbody coaches refine it for you guys. Now, as we customize it for RF, it's your turn to make it better. Lauren says, RF is paid commission monthly rather than weekly. That doesn't impact the ratios at all, Lauren. You just It just asks for a date range. So you just put it in whatever the month is. Danielle says, this training video has been amazing. Is there a way to share this with other team members? Absolutely, Danielle. We will give this link. We'll put it on Facebook and we'll email it to you. Can you sync follow-up appointments to your calendar on your computer or phone? Well, no, you're gonna still use your calendar on your phone. And we didn't build a calendar into Teamsy for that reason. Um, I built a, we built a, our team built a CRM for real estate a few years ago. Um, and we built a calendar into it. And it was a disaster because guess what? Everybody uses iCal or Google Calendar. Some people still use Outlook, but that's only because they work for somebody who makes them use Outlook. But the bottom line is people have their calendar and they use it. They don't want another calendar. So keep your appointments in your phone, right? As you set them, just put them in your phone. Um, your phone is synced in that you can get to Teamsy at any minute on your phone. Having issues downloading my downline list. Okay, there's a video, Tammy, in the FAQs on how to do it from Pulse. Um, Chrome, sent the bugs already. Already done what you suggested. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Megan says, is there anything in the pipeline to auto-populate names and scripts? I'd love that. <laughs> wow, that's a, great, that's a great idea. We got it twice today. Okay, well, we'll see. Do you anticipate linking up with a newsletter service? Well, Emily, um, one of the things that we did talk about, well, I, I mentioned it a second ago, is that we are building a bulk email, um, a bulk email functionality, and it would let you template a basic newsletter. But here's what I'm going to say about that. I, I do have something to say about that. 
because email marketing is effective and email marketing does work, which is why we're considering building it. But here's what I want you guys to know. It, the return, the response rate is minuscule compared to individually messaging people. Your response rate is going to be beyond 50% when you're messaging people and texting them. It is. Just prove me wrong. Go use your free trial and do it. Tell me that your response rate is less than 50%. And when you start your email marketing, your response rate is going to be like in the single digit percentages, which is fine. And you will generate sales that way, but that's why we haven't prioritized it to spend tons of development time and building it yet, if that makes sense. But we will build it because we do believe in it. But I just want you guys to know like your most important thing right now is messaging people. Can you follow, can you sync follow up appointments to a calendar that's on your, oh, someone just asked, asked that. Okay. Maria says, can you add or attach a video link when reaching out to a prospect or follow up with one of the scripts? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can add a link. And, um, you know what? I don't have the email connected, but yeah, there's like a little hyperlink button in the, in the, um, email box, just like you're used to seeing, or you can just paste it in either way. Okay. So Matthew says, thank you for the free trial, by the way, others have given seven to 14 days. That's way too short. You're still learning by the time you have to decide. Yeah, that's too short. Here's the thing. It's like this, like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but if your approach to the world is closed fist, you can't give and you can't receive. And this is true for us giving a 30 day trial. And this is true for the way you guys approach people when you're connecting with them. You got to be like this. You got to be open. You got to be offering everything that you have and you're now able to receive more as well. Does that make sense? All right. Somebody said things I'm handsome. That's very nice of you. A friend of mine already told me today that I need to get the multifunction eye cream going. All right, probably last one for me. This is Matthew. I will submit a request. If there's anything in the works to have the contacts name automatically pull into the script. Man, okay, that's three of you. I'm going to have to talk to the engineers about this one. That's a great idea. Can you please explain how to save the website to your phone? Okay, anonymous, do you have an iPhone? Because that's how I'm going to show you. All right, so look, here it is, iPhone, Safari, okay? I've already got it type, typed in. You go to teensy.com, okay? Go to teensy.com, and when you get to the login page, hold on, internet. If you know how to use the internet, let me try this again. Okay, so look, I typed in teamsy.com. It's loading, loading, loading. I need a new phone, don't I? Give it a kiss. Come on. All right, well, anyways, I pretend it loaded that page. Do you see that little button at the bottom? It's a square with an arrow sticking out of the top. You press that and it brings this little menu up, okay? And one of those says add to home screen. Home screen. See, it's got a square with a plus in the middle of it right there. You press that and it adds the icon to your home screen. It's very similar on an Android, but just get an iPhone, it's easier, okay. Okay, great. You rock, thanks, good, glad that helped. Hey, I got through all my questions. Awesome. Somebody asked, um, what's the skincare AM, skincare PM? Again, it was just to, it was just our attempt to give you something to make sure that you are using the products consistently and being a product of the product, being out in front of your people, showing them that you're, you are the RF lifestyle. Okay. Thank you guys so much. That was a lot of questions, but it was a lot of fun. I'm so excited. This was our very first Rodan and Fields webinar. We will be having this webinar every two weeks for new people as they come in to do the basics. And then Based on your needs, we will drill down and do deeper trainings, okay? Deeper trainings on how to use the, the, the software, but also we're going to be getting deeper into the relationship marketing philosophy because at heart, we're trainers and we're excited to help you guys work this business with heart and with love and get tremendous success. So thank you guys for tuning in. We will put this link on our Facebook page tomorrow. You will get it in email. Please share it with your friends. Please share it with your team and get your team into the beta test. 
get them in. We have no limit on how many people can be in the test and they will all, they're going to love it and they're going to get a great starting price. So thanks again. Have a great night guys.